Did we cut to S3 Docs? What is he doing? S3 Docs and Action Base literally oh head God. to head and they neck are speed running this. So I got invited to this end down event, a creator end down event, and uh, it all started when I was surfing in the internet, and I got a little DM from stuff, an end down stuff, and they told me that, uh, you know, hey, Street Dogs, uh, we're planning to hold this little event, and I did not finish reading, okay? That's literally the only thing I read, and I was like, yep, yeah, I'm down, hell yeah, because last time I got second place, and let me tell you, this time, I'm not going away with a second place or a third place, nah. Give me that first place, baby, okay? Now, if you think it's that easy, then uh, let me tell you, you're wrong because there was a new requirement on this little event, and that is I have to bring a second person. And uh, when I look at my friend list, it's, uh, it doesn't look like it's an option for me. <laughs> at that point, it was pretty simple. I'll invite some random dude and uh, we'll hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> But it didn't work that way, of course. Now, if you made it this far into the video, then I would recommend you to use my code. Now, if you go to the game and you go to perks, and you find something called creator code, and you put S3DOX, this will support me as a creator, and it will also give you something back. So it's a win-win, all right? All right, let's not waste any more time and go back to the video. A guy called Hizuki contacted me. We usually talk whenever he kill me or I kill him or we go against each other in some way or blockade or whatever, you know, we just talk about it in the end. We just joke about it and have fun, I guess. And, uh, you know, he that was the usual. We were talking about uh, having uh, like a little match against another camp and, uh, you know, it was smooth with it. And I said, yo, by the way, you want to participate with me in this event? And he was like, yeah. And, you know, we are talking about one of the best players in my server. So I was like, heck yeah, we are guaranteeing the first place with this one, you know. Fast forward a couple of uh, days, <laughs> it's uh, the streaming day. The only thing we did at this point is we played or prepared a couple of, you know, hours before this one. We didn't really do a lot of testing, a lot of preparation. It wasn't that big, you know, we were like planning to do our best and hope for the best, literally. And, you know, we were not that bad to actually go and be like among the last not to say they are bad you know but we were you know pretty confident in our skills at this time i was having you know a little chat with uh, the community my community talking and stuff like that you know having fun and waiting for the sign the green go you know to start this little event because at this time they were you know still preparing and explaining how this event work and uh you know, now that we talk with about it, we, we didn't explain how it actually worked. So the plan was simple, you know, we have eight creators with their duos, including me, and we also have seven strongholds. Now, the faster to complete all the strongholds will be the winner. However, if you got knocked out in any of those strongholds, you have to go back to the stronghold before and then complete it and then you can start again, you know? And that was the problem, you have to be fast, you have to be efficient, and you have to be cautious. While not a lot of people know it, while others were, you know, preparing, getting buffs and everything, uh, I only applied the normal buffs and me and the Hiseki we were having fun. This is, this is a one time in life experience, you're never gonna see it again. I've never seen this Hiseki <laughs> with a piano, actually. Fast forward a couple of minutes, we got the green light. We begin, we begin, start, 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 Hiseki. Get in. We knew what we were doing, and that's why everything went according to plan. And believe it or not, but we got a better timing than what we did when we were testing. Even, you know, against stress and everything, everything was doing pretty good. Walk faster, well, run faster or sprint, right? <laughs> Friends faster! Come on, sir, come on, give me the skip. Yo, guys hitting me? Hey, that's dirty, man. Don't hit me when this. It's rule number one, never hit someone. Never hit someone when he's watching a cutscene. That's illegal. And just like that, stronghold down, six to go. And guess what? We were first to clear the first stronghold. 
Like I said, everything has went according to plan. The same was for the second stronghold, we cleared it really fast and you know, it was pretty simple and easier because the difficulty was rather lower. It was at this point where the commenters, you know, the organizers started taking notice of us because we were going fast and faster than people <laughs> could have guessed, you know? Did we cut to S3 docs? What is he doing? Next, what do we have? Right. Sleep. Okay, uh, I'm sure. He's making quick work of this. He is. Damage rating. Uh, S3 docs. There's still a lot of variety there. Ooh, S3 docs and action base literally. Oh my head god. Head to head, and they neck are and speed neck. running this. Like they know exactly what to kill. They're not even killing the zombies. They want that prize. At that time, I didn't know that, you know, action base was literally, you know, neck to neck with me or against me. I literally thought that he was a little bit behind me because that's how it was supposed to. But, you know, now that I think about it, he was a healer, a healer in a DPS. So that was quite a smart part of him. But uh, you'll see the drawback really, really soon. By the time we almost made it to the, you know, the end of this uh, stronghold, Action base was already ahead of us, and that made me a little bit worried. And as we kept going and going, action base was going faster and faster and away from us. So I was like, you know, maybe it's gonna be second place again. That was, you know, my idea at that point. Even though I tried to stay positive, you know, there was no light. But apparently Destiny didn't give up on me. Now, you remember when I told you that, you know, there was a drawback of having a DPS and a healer? Well, that's exactly what happened. And the reason behind that is you see, when you have a healer and a DPS in a team, the healer always have to provide healing to the DPS. And the DPS always, you know, depend on the healer. Which forces the healer to, you know, find better positioning in a lot, which is really troublesome, you know, especially when you are dealing with NPCs. And that what happened. They lost. They died. So they have to go back to the stronghold before and then clear it and then go back to the stronghold to actually catch up with me. And that's a lot of time. That time is enough for me to get the win. At this point, the goal was simple for me. I have one more chance and this is the only chance. I gotta be cautious, I gotta be fast, and I gotta be efficient. Ow, check a fire, but okay. Fight them, okay. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. I I'm on total focus mode, by the way. That's why I'm not talking to you guys, I'm sorry. This bunch. I'm gonna run for my life, because if I stay a little longer here, I'm gonna die. Now, fortunately for me, at this point, even though you look, my health is everything is low, I was okay, because this was, you know, part of the plan, because I know this part is really hard, especially if you want to speedrun it. So I had to play with this one a little bit carefully. At this point, I had to go and help Hiseki. I know he's strong, I know he's, you know, good at the game, but, you know, living everything to him would be a little bit tough. So I was like, maybe I should help him. And that was the biggest mistake I've ever done. Oh boy. Uh... No, 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 I lost. Is what you'd like to say, but I got it! Hiseki, at the last oh, second, okay, okay, okay. jump let's go. and got the boss and let's go. Let's go! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Was that seven? That, that was seven, right? Cleared everything. Now it's only not me that I didn't believe it at this point because if we go back to the commentators, they had the similar, you know, thoughts. Oh. Challenge complete. Did S3 Docs do it? That's what I'm talking about. But does he need to go back? He might have to go back. Following the. Oh, he is the winner. He is the winner. Okay. So oh, okay, so S3 Docs is first place. Oh my crazy. gosh. He is the winner, so now we got to see who's going to be second and third place. Congratulations to S3 Docs. It clearly shows that you guys have gone out of your way and knew, ex you know, you planned ahead with this. There we go. So this is huge for S3 Docs. I know he was super excited about this competition. I think for the last event, he came in second place. So he was really aiming for that number one spot this go around. I, I also got to say that S3 Docs is, uh, I think he's a very competitive player as well, so... 
After that, I played some piano in the live stream, and, you know, talked with everyone, thanked them for tuning in and everything, but yeah, that's the story of how I won the first place in this event. Now, if you're curious what I won, I won 10,000 RC. Yep, 10k RC, just like that. And, you know, I'm happy with it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for the continued support. I really appreciate it. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.